A wild high-speed chase through the streets of the metro this morning. It's a chase that exceeded speeds of 140 miles an hour. It all started at I-40 and MacArthur. You can see it went from one side of the metro all the way to the other and finally came to an end on the Turner Turnpike just west of Indian Meridian Road. News Channel 4's Allie Meyer is on Crime Watch this afternoon. She shows us the dramatic chase on the ground and in the air from Chopper 4. It's, it's a place to do it if they're going to do it. Oklahoma City Police and OHP troopers had been on the tail of this car for about 20 minutes when Chopper 4 caught up with the chase. Right now he has given them a run for their money. Can't they cannot catch this car when they get on a straight flat uh, road. The suspect car weaves in and out of unsuspecting traffic at speeds in excess of 140 miles an hour. And just when they thought they had it. They appear to be getting ready to lay out the stop sticks. This high-speed driver steers into oncoming traffic to clear the stop sticks. It was more than the lead trooper could handle. On the ground, you can see he hit those stop sticks right on. Well, right now, Ken, I am flying at uh, 130 miles an hour trying to catch back up with him here. With each straightaway, the suspect gains ground on the sluggish patrollers. The key factor now is how much gas do they have on board. Uh... Troopers employ a third set of stop sticks beneath this underpass. You can't see them from the air. We had a couple of troopers that were able to uh, get ahead of the pursuit on the Indian Meridian Road. Uh, parked their units up on top and they ran down to the turnpike and were able to actually put two sets of stop sticks out, which covered the entire width of the roadway. About a mile later, a puff of smoke indicates this driver is ready for a pit stop. Considering what could have occurred, it's uh, came to a good end. After some quick police work, investigators tell us this Chevy Impala is stolen. Its driver is facing several felony charges. Allie Meyer, Oklahoma's News Channel 4. Allie tells us that the suspect is 17 years old. Police say he is listed as a missing person out of California. I mean, this is very dangerous. We can't stress enough, Kent, to, to the people that the speed you're watching at is now very dangerous because there is traffic on the turn turnpike, cars in both lanes, so uh, hopefully, Kent, nothing will happen. They can get this guy stopped uh, before something, uh, something very bad happens. Yeah, Jim, he's passing cars that are going, you know, 60 or 70 miles an hour, and they look like they're standing still. Uh, it's, a, it's incredible. that He, he uh, does have a very powerful engine in that Cadillac. Well, right now, Kent, I am flying at uh, 130 miles an hour trying to catch back up with him here as uh, we come up uh, come up to him uh, but i am doing uh, right now 135 miles an hour and, and he is still appears to me i'm not catching him that much Kent. so jim it's about 22 miles from that mcdonald's that first mcdonald's there uh, going east he, of course he's going westbound so at this rate of speed he will reach the turnpike gate at i-35 in what probably eight or nine minutes correct uh, at, th at this uh, speed he'll he'll be there probably in about 10 minutes Kent. Well, I'm sure that uh, all of the departments are mobilized. Like you say, the most important thing right now is to keep anybody from getting hurt. But uh, if you're traveling 130 trying to keep up with them, what an extremely, extremely dangerous situation. Extremely dangerous, Ken. And I'm doing 130, and I have, I have not gained on him at all. So if I'm doing 130 and not gaining, he's, he's at least doing my speed or, or a little bit more. If there's any blessing, Jim, it looks like traffic isn't that heavy at this time. Not at this time. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, you know, hopefully they they would get him before the gate here, but the, the cruisers have no chance of catching him, Kent. Uh, Air One is on the scene. Air One is the only only uh, aircraft that is able to stay up with this car and keep him in sight. The cruisers uh, just have, and the police vehicles just have no way. He's just absolutely just stretching it out, Kent. I'm having to pull extra power here. I'm now coming up to 140 miles an hour, and he's still pulling away from me, Kent. You're going 140 miles an hour, and he's pulling away from you, Jim. That's incredible. And I'm sure the, he's pulling away from the officers as well. He's, he's stretching out a very large gap uh, uh, from the officers at this time, Kent. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to pull up into the yellow here. I, I don't have time to explain about the helicopter and engines, but I'm pulling into the yellow, which I have five minutes to stay in the yellow just to try to keep up uh, with a, a reasonable amount of distance to give you a good picture here. I understand, Jim. We're getting some information that this may not be a Cadillac, but indeed a Chevy Impala with one person inside. That's according to some witnesses uh, along the roadside. So uh, right now, that is sketchy information at this time, but it's a possibility there is only one driver. Okay, well, that's good to, good to know. Uh, Right now, it appears the cruisers are, are gaining on him a little bit. The traffic's kind of got in front of him and slowed him down here a little bit, uh, Kent. So the cruisers have 
close the gap on him. Uh, OHP, I appear to have two, four, five, five, uh, I don't know if that's all OHP vehicles in pursuit at this time or not. Now he's coming up to, we got a semi and a pickup blocking uh, the lanes here. Uh, this is going to slow him down. I don't know if they're going to be able to do anything, though, Kent, at this time. I think this is just uh, this pursuit's on for a while until he runs out, of, runs out of gas or something major happens here. I understand, Jim. We're getting a little more information for those just joining us. Police were trying to stop this vehicle. Be wow, that was close because of an illegal tag. Uh, and this has wound all the way from the I-40, I-35 area up to Highway 66, all the way down 66 to Wellston. Now it's coming back towards Oklahoma City on the Turner Turnpike, as you said, reaching speeds of up to 140 miles per hour. And, Jim, if this is indeed a, uh, a Cadillac Seville, we have talked with a car dealership that says if it's an STS, it can reach speeds of over 150 miles an hour. That's correct, Kent. Uh, it's a very uh, powerful vehicle. Even if it's a Chevy Impala, if it's a super sport edition of the Chevy Impala, right. Kent, it, it is well capable of doing over 150 miles an hour. Yeah, it too. How far out are you from the gate right now, Jim? I'm still quite a, I'm still, well, I would say probably 10, 15 miles, Kent. But now look at the gap. He has just hit the gas and he is moving, he's pulling away from me and the cruisers again uh, here. I'm going to pull back up into the yellow to try to keep a good enough distance to give you a live shot here. Uh, like I said, the, the Oklahoma City helicopter, police helicopter, is a McDonnell Douglas 500, which is a faster than our ship, which is good. At, I mean, it's a good thing to have. They are the only ones able to, to keep this car in sight at, the, at this time, Ken. Jim, that was a close call when he passed that tractor trailer a little while ago. What are you seeing ahead of you that may give this driver any more problems? Well, we're, we're seeing some more tractor trailers. The traffic is getting a little bit heavier, Kent. Uh, there are more tractor trailers, more vehicles uh, in the way, uh, and it, it becomes a lot more dangerous because when he starts weaving in and out of traffic at 140 miles an hour, it just takes a slight mistake to lose control of this vehicle, Kent. And that, and hopefully we, hopefully we have nobody hurting this, but... Uh, it could become a real dangerous